Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of SoCal Sense. I'm Jeff. I'm Luke. Today we're going to be talking to you about teenager fragrances. Yes. yes. So on our lives, this is one of the most commonly asked questions, and we figured we'd just put a mega list together of some good recommendations for it. So some of these, we have the bottles in front of us, some of us will just spit off the top of our head. Um, but yeah, fresh and clean, right? Definitely, definitely made things. Be fresh, especially when you're young, you know. Uh, you're at school, things like that. There's a lot of people. Um, you know, you're in normal class, and then you're in PE. You want something that's going to kind of be versatile. It's going to, you know, work with you throughout the day. So yeah, a nice, fresh, clean scent would definitely be the the move. And it's yeah. the, definitely the girls to appreciate that the most yes. for the most part. Yeah. So we have a bunch of fresh and clean recommendations. A lot of them, we'll just say pick your favorite of yeah. um and then we do have one set aside for like your special dates nights and stuff like that yeah but generally just it's easier to just stick with like one or two fragrances and to like i need 15 to 20 yeah you don't really need that so much in high school so cool let's begin cool. let's talk about the easiest choice the blue fragrances yes yes so the blues are probably the most common the shower gel fragrances yeah. um easily the most popular we have a bunch in front of us right now um, the first two I'm going to recommend is America by Perry Alice and Lacoste Long Intense. Um, these are different than, say, your traditional like Sauvages and stuff like that. This is like pineapple meets Sauvage. It's interesting. It's unique. It's very different than Sauvage. And then Lacoste Long Intense it is a rhubarb twist on the blue fragrance. So it's a little bit different smelling. Yeah. And you both smell good. Yeah, cool. And then I guess, is that the coach? Or this you do that, yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'll just, you know, bring up two uh, heavy hitters, um, Dior Sauvage. We know it. We love it. EDT. Uh, <laughs> EDT. 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 Um, come on. You know, you already know. Uh, and then Prada Lunarosa Carbon. This is like a, it's a light fragrance. It gives us like a Sprite vibe to us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's fresh. It's clean. It has a little bit of, a little bit of sweetness, but it's, uh, it's, it's nice. I feel like, yes, yeah, a nice like Sprite fragrance but not in a bad way sprite meets sauvage sprite meets sauvage definitely. yeah it's like sauvage but with a little less edge it's not as aggressive it's a little more yeah. like easy wearing if that makes sense um uh, but both great fragrances you know both gonna get you a lot of compliments um i've definitely been leaning more on the product carbon wave because yeah it's a little bit sauvage i feel like it's not like everyone is wearing sauvage all the time so i feel like i like to switch it up but again sauvage still does give you the compliments so yeah yeah it smells great um, also, Blue de Chanel works fine. EDT of that one is usually the one we recommend. Yeah. Um, any other blues off the top of your head that you can? Top of my head? Uh, I mean, that's that would... kind of it. Yeah, yeah, because I don't really wear yeah. the Geo anymore. Yeah, I had so. Uh, the one non blue that we don't have in front of us that's great is Explorer. Oh, yeah. I was, I'm, I was wearing Explorer today, actually. Yeah. I totally forgot about that. Explorer is great. Um, it kind of fits in the blue world, but it's not a blue. Yeah. Um, so actually, I think that one's fantastic. If you want to smell completely different than any one else that's around you. So. Yeah. The fresh pineapple vibe. Cool. The next ones we have is Coach for Men. Yes. All three of them work. Yeah. Um, the two we recommend the most, though, is blue and the original. You can't really go wrong with either of these. Yeah. Easy, mass appealing, clean, fresh. You can throw it in your bag. You can just toss it. You can spray heavy with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, just completely inoffensive. Yeah, I've actually gone through two bottles of uh, the original. One back in like 2016, before I was even in the whole fragrance, you know, thing. And uh, I purchased like a full-size bottle. I went through that. And then I had another little one. I went through that. Just yeah. a very wearable, easy fragrance. Uh, yeah, it gets a lot of compliments too for being so just chill, you know? So, yeah. yeah. Coach Matt. All right, next. We have the entire Y lineup. Yes. All of them work. You can literally pick any of the five and they work great. But if I were to pick two that I think worked the best, I would say Y Live and Y Oh Fresh. Both are fresh. Both are fantastic. Both are playful, mm. youthful. The girls will think you smell great. Yes. That's pretty much all you you ask for on a Y fragrance. And it's not overwhelming. Yeah. Um, like I, we're suggesting these two because like I feel like the EDP is a little bit overwhelming sometimes. Definitely, um, the EDT works as well, but we like these two better than the EDT. And then Le Parfum, we've both been wearing over the weekend, and it works. But I think for a high schooler, we just recommend these ones a little bit better. But you can't go wrong with all of them. Yeah. 
the next mass line we're just going to quickly talk about. Gucci Guilty. Yes. And this is Gucci Guilty Black, which is one of Jeff's goes to, go-tos, but I personally love just the, yeah. Original. The original. We just didn't grab the bottle to film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the original, like, uh, that's, again, Gucci Guilty is one of the fragrances I bought when I was 15, or maybe even 14, that was like, one of like, I just, you know, smelled everything at Macy's. I didn't know anything. I didn't know any hype. Oh, and I just, I loved it. And then and honestly, it's one of the fragrances yeah. that I smell on Luke the most. Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember being literally 15 years old, like, springing forward to bed and just like, it's like, ah, oh, like, this is nice. Like, that was like my, like, kind of sexy fragrance. It, like, literally at 15, still down. So, now nah, I think it's great, you know? Gucci Guilty Black's great. Yeah. Gucci Guilty Love's great. Yeah. Honestly, just kind of go pick your favorite between those three. Um, those are our three personal favorites. Um, there's others in the Gucci Guilty line, but I would try to stick to these three, if you want the most like easy to wear compliments. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Um, now let's just talk about some like just fun ones. Um, these are just simple, easy to wear. Yeah. Uh, they're not really blue fragrances. They're kind of just fresh, clean, um, sexy. Uh, I have Ferragamo by Ferragamo. Yeah. And then uh, Armani Code Colonia, which is like a nice uh, spring. Yeah. A nice, like, on- honestly, like uh, powdery, fresh, clean, like luxurious soap kind of vibe too similar to that yeah it's yeah. sexy both yeah. of these are sexy both work all of these we'll just put a little air up to the sky the ladies have liked them in the video yeah. so if there's a link that pops up during this section just know that these get great reactions from the ladies yeah. um so great choices yeah. all right next we have some fun ones. So these are the fresh fruity bubblegum ones, and that is not fresh fruity bubblegum. <laughs> Abercrombie Fitch First Instinct, which has a melon note, which is uh, a little you know rare in male fragrances, but it, it works in this, and it feels very playful and, and young, and uh, yeah, it, it works. We had a buddy that wore it all the time, so we're really used to this smell, yeah. but it does still smell good. Um, mine's a boss, and what sucks about this one is you can't buy it in the store or try it in the store. You actually have to blind buy it online because yeah. it's a Middle Eastern company. But it just works. It really s- smells nice. I enjoy it. Luke enjoys it. It smells good in the air. It works in all seasons. It won't choke anybody out. Um, but if you want something that's in the same realm of this, um, we have what? Legend Spirit. Yeah. Uh, Invictus Aqua. Yeah. Kind of. yeah. That one. Icon Racing by Dunhill. But... Honestly, Legend Spirit and Havas are the two big ones we recommend with this type of scent. I caught that cap. This cap weighs a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. And then we also have some freshy summers. So we have Light Blue Tents. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, what's another good summery one? That we- any, yeah. Uh, trying to- any, any Light Blues? Any of them? Any of them. I feel like we've gotten a lot of like, you know, obviously like in yeah. this... Um, I always loved Invictus and Invictus Aqua. Um, I wore that a lot as a kid, actually. That was one of the, again, I used to have 1 million Invictus, Gucci Guilty. Yeah. Those are like some of my go-tos. Yeah. But yeah, so just think anything really, really fresh is going to work. So like other ones like Diorum Cologne is another good one that'll work. Um, but yeah. And then for that special occasion, that date night, that going to the school dance, we have two suggestions for you. Okay. Look, what's your uh, go-to day-night fragrance? Go-to day-night fragrance for myself? Yes. Uh, Prada Black, of course. Yeah. I think that works for yeah. teenager, for special, like, going to the dance type of vibe. Yeah. Um, and obviously, we're, we've kept all these pretty much under a good budget. Like, none of them are actually super expensive. So, being a teenager, I know that's hard. Um, so, the actual most affordable one on this list is the one I'm recommending for, like, go-to going on a date is a Gold Rush Man. Uh, it's by Paris Hilton. It actually smells really, really good. Yeah. Don't take the Paris Hilton for granted. Uh, it looks actually more in this. Yeah, actually. Yeah. It smells really good, and you can heavy spray it. Yeah. And not feel bad. Like, you can give yourself a 10, 10 spray. Be chill. Yeah. And you won't choke anyone else. But those are just some of our recommendations. Fresh and clean. Things to avoid. Uh, I, I would say the leather and, like... I don't know, heavy woods and tobacco, heavy tobacco, like in the daytime, yeah. you know, especially. And I think boozy sense is weird on this yeah. teenager. Yeah. Um, I would just kind of just stay away from those. Think more fresh and clean. Just know that there's so many good options with fresh and clean that you can't really go wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah. So 
we listed probably what 25 fragrances in this video yeah and legit like any of those would work and people around you are going to think you smell great and the girls around you are going to be attracted to the smell yeah just naturally so you won't offend anyone yeah so yeah cool well let us know what you guys wore in high school whether it was 30 years ago or you're currently in high school um and uh, comment down below uh, it'll be interesting to see what everyone's worn throughout the years yeah solid Cool. All right, guys.